Hello everybody. I thought I'd do um, a quick craft with you to show you so how to make um, my shelf corner a snowflake things that dangle from the ceiling. They were in my um, Christmas home tour. So if you want to see what they look like in action, you can uh, watch the home tour. It's really easy. It's really easy. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to need some skewers and you're going to want to cut the pointy, the pointy end off and you can make it however long you want. If you had high ceilings, I would say make them longer. And if you have lower ceilings, um, you can go a little bit shorter. Um, but you can take your snowflakes that you're going to use and sit them out and measure how big, how big you want them um, before, you, before you cut your skewers if you want to. So I have these snowflakes. They're really flimsy, like rubbery type snowflakes. They come, I don't know, probably... I don't know, 10 or 15 in a pack. I've had these for several years, but I know that Dollar Tree still has them. Um, and then also, you can find these at like Walmart, Dollar General, uh, Dollar Tree probably even has them. The clear plastic snowflakes like this, and they come, I don't know, five or six in a pack, and they're more hard plastic than the other ones but they are still flimsy. You kind of want them to be flimsy. And then you can also get, I didn't use these for my project, but these would work just fine too. There's three in a pack. I think these came from Dollar Tree. And there, see how they're kind of cheap and flimsy. And then the other one that you want is something like this, a little more heavy duty. Walmart probably has something, but I got this one from uh, Dollar General and it was, one dollar. So the first thing you're going to do, set this aside, is you're going to take two skewers, cut the ends off the size that you want, and then you're going to glue the corner together. You're going to glue it together right up here at the corner with some hot glue. Actually, I need to glue mine. Okay. Now, then you're gonna want to you're gonna want to paint your skewers white. Nothing fancy. You can even put. I didn't fix my hair yet, so my hair is kind of out of control. Sorry about that. <laughs> At least I put my makeup on for you. Um, uh, so you're gonna want to paint your skewers white, and you can just dip your paper towel or something like that, or a little sponge in some white paint and go over the skewers just to get them white. And then that way they're not wet, and you're not having to wait for them to dry. Also. So it doesn't have to be fancy. You're just trying to get it to match your like ceiling paint if your ceiling is white, I guess. Okay. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna. I've already cut mine in half, but I'll show you. You're gonna take your snowflake like this, and you're gonna go right down the middle, and you're gonna cut it, and you're gonna make two pieces. And then you're gonna do the same with these clear plastic ones, but this one's a little more difficult. This part in the middle, this part right here the solid circle. That part's actually kind of hard to cut. So what I do is I take, I found that it worked better to take um, a uh, an X-Acto knife and score this like five or six times in a straight line before taking my utility scissors. These are not my utility scissors, but you want to take your utility scissors and you want to go right down the middle, sorry, garbage truck. And you want to go right down the middle and cut that into two pieces. So what you end up doing is you take half of your silver snowflake. You could use gold to a snowflake too. I think it just looks better to have two different colors of snowflake on here. It's more interesting when you look at it. So then you glue that down like so. Then you're going to take the other half and you're going to glue it to the other stick going the other direction. So put some glue. Like so. Okay, and then I found that when I was doing mine that it works best to take a little bit of glue and put it on top of one point of the snowflake right here 
where the other snowflake touches and then just glue those together a little bit. It makes it just a little bit more sturdy because this is very lightweight and it's made with really cheap snowflakes. So it's good to um, make it sturdy where you can. Okay. Now, you're going to use the other snowflakes and you're going to glue those down the same way. Okay, and then your other piece, put the one ahead. This is what I have. Just want to hold it before I pick it up and show you. Let it dry for a second. Glue with my fingers. Okay, then pull off any extra strings. See, now what I did is, on this, the longer stick, I made the part that's going to go on the ceiling, I made that stick a little bit longer. And then the stick that goes down. I left a little, about a half an inch to an inch right here so that I'll be able to thumbtack that to the ceiling. So now the thing that I would do, I'm not going to show you, but it's super simple, is I would lay this down and I would completely cover the whole thing with white glue. You can use you can use Mod Podge, you can use white glue, you can use decoupage, anything that's going to make glitter stick to it really well and not just fall right off. And then I used several different kinds of glitter. I've got um, silver glitter, I've got these this glass um, glitter, um, and then I have some glitter that I got from Target, and then some clear translucent glitter, and then um, you know, some other, basic, basically in the same color scheme, no reds or blues or anything like that, unless you're into that. <coughs> if you want that in your living room, go ahead, do it however you want it. This is your project. So, okay, so then you're going to completely th cover this thing with glitter. And I did some of it. I did one side of it with glitter. It's pretty glittery. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. But then what you're going to do is you're going to take this to the corner that you're going to put it in, and you're going to push it up into the ceiling and you're going to use the best thing I found that worked was one of those um, clear thumbtacks that you can get just for a regular bulletin board and you just put it on one side of the sticker or the other and you just push it up and you um, put it up on the ceiling and then you line this up how you want it make sure it's straight and then just you know it'll stay there it's very lightweight so that's not going to be an issue <clears throat> then the next thing you're going to do, what I do with my snowflake, is you're going to take your, um, you know, hard plastic snowflake, the one that's, you know, a dollar snowflake because they're so expensive, but you're going to take your one dollar snowflake and you're going to um, take your tags off of it and you're going to take a piece of fishing twine monofilament and you're going to knot it through the little loop. And then you're going to leave a string on it, probably, I don't know, I would leave it, you know, like eight inches long at least, maybe a foot long, until you get ready to put it on your ceiling. And then what your, your, what your goal is, is to um, hang this from the ceiling and then have this hanging in between there so that it turns like in, in the middle of the other snowflakes. I guess you could do it down here if you like how that looks, but I think it looks best right in the middle of the situation. So then you just put a knot on the other end of your of your um, string, the height that you want it, and then you, I put a little spot of glue on my thumbtack. I use the same kind of thumbtack for putting this one in the ceiling as I did putting the uh, skewer part in the ceiling. And then I put a little piece of glue there just to keep that knot tight because this one is a little heavier than that whole thing. It weighs probably what three or four of those would weigh. So then um, you just put your thumbtack for this one on the opposite side that you already put it on and then you put that up on the ceiling also just like that. And that's it. That's it. And it looks gorgeous. So let me know what you think about that one. Let me know if you try it. I want to see what anybody else comes up with an idea. 
I did the spider webs in my corners for Halloween and I liked how it looked so I wanted to put something up there for Christmas also. So that's what it was. Oh, I did try making some of the um, porcelain clay. There are several recipes on Pinterest and stuff so I tried making some of that and I've let them air dry and I stamped them. I have some, like this one here says Merry Christmas. I stamped it with my cookie stamp. And then I have some little gingerbread men that I cut out with a little cookie cutter. But my favorite, I think, are these little birds that I cut out. Aren't they cute? And then what I did with a few of them, just to see how it was going to come out, is I painted them red like cardinals. And then here's one that I finished. Let's see. Can you see that? Isn't he cute? So I thought I'd make little ornaments to hang on my tree. Probably won't use them this year, but I'll use them next year. And maybe give some away as gifts. I don't know if anybody would want any or not. I like them. I never know if anybody actually likes my craft stuff or if they're just trying to be nice when I give it to them. But if, if I knew somebody that was really crafty, I would be happy to get a crafty gift from them. I think it's fun. And then they took time to spend making you something just for you. And then I have another project I'll show you real quick. Um, you can get these wood ornaments from Dollar General, and it's got three layers of different uh, wood pieces going throughout this. It's, this is a moose with some birch trees and some pine trees in the background. So what I thought would be kind of neat, I just put my knife away and get it back out again, is take your X-Acto knife and these things cut out of here real easy. You just give it a little push and it pops right out. And then if you go underneath and then you tug on it, it'll come right off. There's hardly any glue on there. See, there's no glue that was even stuck to the back of this. But look at this little moose. You could put a little hole through here and put it on some earrings. Make yourself some little moose earrings. But this is the one that I liked. I took, um, see the trees here in the background, the big pine trees? If you cut that at the top and where it's joined in a couple different places, save some of the dirt at the bottom, the ground, and then pop it out of here. I have one that I already popped out. <coughs> See, it's like, then you have that. And then what I did is I took it and painted it green on one side, took some white, went over it to make it look like it was snow, put some brown at the bottom where the trunks are. And then I took a little pin back that I had in my stash and put it on there. So now I could do, I could put it on where it is a winter pin. I like to wear pins and for Halloween and Christmas especially, but that's one thing I like about going to thrift stores. So I always look at the jewelry section first because you never know what you're going to find. You can find some really interesting pins and stuff, but people don't really wear pins. I wear pins on all my jackets. I think they're fun. Anyway, and I thought that that look, could look neat. And if you wanted to put one of the straight pin backs on your moose, you could paint him and have him, you know, you could do two of them and have like a little winter scene that you're wearing on your jacket or sweater. That could be kind of cool. Never seen anybody do that. But I think that's it. And um, on one of my earlier posts, I think it was the one where I was doing the ice skates, I showed you guys my Santa that I was painting where I was redoing him. And he is just about finished. Here he is. What do you think of him? That's how he's coming out. I think he's looking pretty good. He's about ready to join the rest of the Santas in the, in the living room. But anyway, let me know what you think. Um, you know, like my uh, video. It helps out a lot. And um, let anybody know that you think might want to do some of these crafts. I know there's lots of people who like to do crafts. Let them know about my video and um, let me know what you think. And um, if you have any other crafts that you'd like me to try to do, I can try to do it. And um, I usually learn how to do crafts pretty easy. And um, I can show you how to do it my best I can. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.